Hi, Mary here from Change is Always Possible. <laughs> Getting soggy out in nature. And, oh, I've got so many things I'd like to say. Where do I start? But today I am, um, yeah, I need to say something about um, vaccinations because I am, um, well, my twins, uh, children, uh, young adults, <laughs> are coming up for 22. So when I was pregnant, so we're talking 23 years ago, <laughs> 20, over 22 years ago, um, found myself in the position where I questioned the need to give them vaccinations. And it wasn't something that I chose. It wasn't, um, well, it just hadn't been on my radar before. I'd been happily injecting myself with things while I traveled the world. Um, but I went to a talk and it changed my whole view and probably that coupled with the fact that I had had to um, go through IVF treatment so I'd had to really think about my health and my well-being in the um, period in the, the lead up to that. It was the beginning of me um, looking at health in a different way and well-being. Um, and it's a long story that I'm not going to go into here. I'm probably going to write about it. But um, I spent a long, hard uh, period of time uh, trying to decide what to do and doing a lot of research and talking to my doctor, uh, reading books and papers and I made the decision, along with my partner, not to vaccinate our children. And uh, 20 odd years ago, that was pretty controversial. Didn't go down at all well <laughs> with members of our family. They could not understand what we were doing. Um, I've, uh, you know, it was quite a rough road at times, um, choosing that path. and. I didn't choose it lightly and I really object to people who treat me like an idiot, um, who um, have attacked me for those decisions and never ever asked me why. I don't know what they're assuming but they're assuming something and, um, and on a few occasions when I have suggested to people that they read something or they watch something so that we could then talk about it. Um, they've never done it. They've not once has anybody done that. They preferred just to bash me. And in fact, that is one of the reasons, um, you know, one of the many contributing factors that caused me to come off social media, because I do not like the way people behave on there. And especially if you bring up the subject of vaccinations and um, it's become so polarized now, it's like people can't even, um, behave well. Well, they haven't behaved well for years, but they certainly can't now. And um, we really need to listen. We need to listen to each other. You know, I, I didn't conjure that idea out of nowhere. I've got really good reasons why I did it um, and have learned a huge amount because I made that decision, because I had to do... I, making that decision meant that one, um, I faced the possibility that my children would get some of those illnesses, which they did, and I was taking full responsibility for their health. And um, that's no mean feat, I can tell you. Um, it strikes me that, um, as with an awful lot of the way that health is treated in our country, um, it's outsourced. Yeah, so we, we look to somebody else, usually the doctor and the people in white coats, um, as the experts and um, we expect them to fix us, to sort it out, you know, to do for us. And the approach that I um, had to take and that I learned um, because of that and then subsequently um, because of my own chronic illness was to take responsibility for my own health and my own health decisions. And um, uh, I am hugely concerned about the rush to vaccinate um, in particular regarding this coronavirus. Um, I really don't believe that something like that should be um, forced on anybody. Um, and 
I think there are already an awful lot of questions around their safety um, and the way they're tested and I'm concerned. The human race is in trouble, especially in the West. We're already in a lot of health trouble and the coronavirus has shown that, hasn't it? The people who are vulnerable to this virus who um, can't make it through through are the people who are already chronically ill and we've got an awful flipping lot of them and um, something about the way we live is not healthy and you know this medicating and looking for um, non-natural solutions is part of that and I so I have a lot of questions about it and um, I wish we could debate it and discuss it and be open enough to consider the other people's points of view because I, honest to God, do not have a problem with anybody vaccinating themselves or their children if that's what they choose to do and they're fully informed of all the potential risks. Just like with any medication, read the package insert. Make sure that you're really happy to take those risks and if you are, do it. I mean, who am I to say um, that you shouldn't? But equally, who are you to say that I can make it need to make a different decision from the one that I'm making and um, yeah so I'm really concerned and this is the beginning of me talking about it um, because I think we need to talk about it um, you know the human beings we've got thus far on the planet you know millions of years <laughs> of evolution um, and we're still here and we managed to get here without vaccinations in fact without all the pill popping and um, that goes on um, the problems with our health are not through the lack of a vaccination or the lack of some pharmaceutical um, and of course sometimes those can help I'm not dishing them um, but I'm just saying that the, the, the dominance of our, uh, well, I don't think it is a health care system, I think it's a sick care system, by this one track kind of way of looking at things isn't helping because if it was, why have we got increasing rates of chronic illness? And particularly in children, um, we've got increasing rates of infertility, you know, we are not a well species on the planet at all, in the West in particular. People are dying because of other reasons, um, starvation, lack of clean water um, in poorer parts of the country. But we in the, we in the West, we are, what is the expression? It's we're overfed and undernourished and it's impacting people's health. And that, along with the stressful way we live, is creating th this epidemic of chronic illnesses. Um, so to me, vaccinations are part of that whole issue about the way that we look at health and what creates health. And I really believe we need a complete radical rethink um, on how we're going about things. So yeah, I've got a lot more to say about this. <laughs> Um, but that's my, um, yeah, introduction to all.